What's good, family? This database man. I wanted to comment on this video that Brother Ben X did, man. See, this is what you call putting in the work. And these young brothers, man, they got a mentor. They got a mentorship, a mentorship uh, program going on, where they go out and, as you can see, they mentor young boys, man. Because that's what our youth need, man. They need mentors, man. Now, they going to ask the question to these young fellows, man. How many of their fathers are in their life? And I believe only you can only see the front row, but I believe the majority of these little brothers, man, hands went up when they asked that question, man. But I watched this video, man. And I said, wow, man, these brothers, man, is putting in some work. You understand? You see, they not just making videos. You know, they got boots on the ground. You understand? And it appears that it's only two of them in the nation of Islam. The rest of them is just brothers, man, just, just coming together, man, and trying to do some good in the community, man. That's what you call putting in the work. Now, Brother Ben, man, <laughs> I've been checking Shorty out, man, ever since, man, uh, he came out. Now, I'm not sure exactly when he came out, but it was it was kind of early in this little YouTube career. But but this young brother has inspired me, and uh, I put a comment on his page one time. I let him know what my age was, and I told him, I said, man, you inspire me. Not just to do you no know, videos, but to, you know, just to be kind to people, be respectful. You know, not act like a damn fool because a lot of that's been going on on YouTube. You know, a lot of clowning, a lot of disrespect. You know, it, it, it's, it's getting just as bad as watching TV. You know how they portray us on, on in TV and in the movies? Well, see, now a lot of people is uh, making videos, man, and, and, and they making it just as bad as the movies and the TV, if you ask me. So, anyway, um, I just came from uh, Nation of Islam service, mosque number six. I made a little video just showing the mosque. And, and um, the brothers, they was talking about the service that they have during the week. And the service I'm talking about is they got a manhood training class that's free to anybody. You don't even have to be in the Nation of Islam. They accept little young men to come in there. It's, it's manhood training. You ain't even got to be young, really, because it's a lot of grown men out here that still really don't know how to be a man, right? And that is something that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam is doing for the people. You understand? Somewhere where you can go, especially like if you're a young boy, man, and your father ain't in your life. Man, you can go up there and get some manhood training, man. You can also get some some mentoring, like what Brother Ben is doing in the street. You know, and I'm not shouting this brother out just because he's in the Nation of Islam, man, but... Anybody that's doing good for the community, man, I got mad love for you. You see, because I'm a free thinker. You understand? I, I, I don't have nothing against no other ideology. You know, because at one point I used to debate, right? When I first came into the knowledge of Islam, right? And I felt as though I had a superior knowledge. You know what I mean? So I used to, uh, I started debating Christians. You know what I mean? I even debated this little pastor one time. She was a female. I grew up with her, but she she became a pastor. So um, she was really my cousin's girlfriend, but not a girlfriend like that, but one of her friends. And uh, we was on the phone, and we got to going back and forth about Jesus and all that, and I lost the debate, yeah, yeah, I ain't afraid to admit it, I lost the debate, 
<laughs> and uh, and then one time my brother, man, my brother who's older than me, he 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 was living that life, man. He was into that street life, real heavy, right? And you know he was getting high and all that, so. He end up, I don't know what happened or how he got hooked up with it. But he end up going to church every Sunday. And I watched the transformation that my brother made, man. And I had to sit back and say, wow. Then I had to ask myself, who the hell am I to be debating somebody's belief? You understand? When I clearly seen Christianity clean my brother up so I had to take a step back man and take a good look at you know my position on on different ideologies you know cuz I'm at the point now I'm like hey whatever works for you works for you I'm not going we can talk about it you know it's really you know I can give you my opinion and you can give me your opinion I don't have to curse you out or disrespect you as a matter of fact, I can, it'd probably be better off if I just keep my mouth shut. Because I see the light shining in you, why would I try to put the light out? You know what I'm saying? So, I just really wanted to shout out Brother Ben and, and, and his little crew, right, for mentoring these little brothers, man. Because this video that I'm about to show y'all, man, it kind of touched me a little bit. So, I... I, I I said, man, I'm a, I hope you don't mind me posting this video on my channel because it's for good. And, you know, it's, it's, man, as many people as possible need to see this video because this is where we really should be at as a people, man. China. Now, these young brothers don't need to turn on YouTube, man, because, you know, a lot of the younger generation is into this social media real heavy. And they really don't need to turn this on, man, and see people going at it, disrespecting each other. They really don't need to see that. You understand? Because they could feel like what they're doing is, is good. They won't try to change anything. Right? Now, in this clip right here I'm about to show you is about a little kid who disrespected his mother and the brother just gave him some love. That's all, it, that's all the little kid probably needed was some love. And you can tell by, by the end of this clip, you want to say that dude made a difference in that little kid's life, man. Because he probably, I believe he changed that. In his, in his six-minute video, I believe he changed that boy's thinking. That fast. And sometimes that's all we got to do is show somebody some love, man, especially a little kid. Now, I don't know what the little kid's situation is. The little kid's mother probably working all the time. His dad probably ain't in his life. So he probably dealing with a lot of frustrations. You know what I'm saying? So the, the brother showed him some love, man. After, you know, he gave him a little lesson, right? But it was all in love, man. And I think, man, you know, we can, we can use this video, man, as an example, man. Because I remember the saying, each one teach one. Remember that? Now it's like each one disrespect one. It ain't each one teach one no more. You know? So, yeah. Check this video out, fam. This last time. Who did not grow up with a father at home? Look at that. All them hands. Everybody look around. Y'all see that? Put your hand down. Sir, don't ever respond to your mama like that. Do you, you understand me? No. Don't ever respond to your mother like that. Not while I'm around. Mom, do you mind? Say, sir, let me tell you something. Don't ever do that again. Do you understand me? Yes, now, check this out, family. Now, he asked a question of who's who got their father was in their lives. Now, I noticed this little kid that he talked to didn't raise his hand, right? So his mother probably was telling him to raise his hand. Now, I'm just going on speculation. I'm just speculating right now. 
right? I noticed that little kid didn't raise his hand. So his mother probably was trying to tell him to raise his hand. And he was like, what? So check it out. I'm going to take it back so we can try to catch it. Like we asked last time, who did not grow up with a father at home? See, his hand ain't raised. Everybody look around. Damn. Look like he wanted to raise it. Y'all see that? What? Put your hand down. Okay. Sir, don't ever respond to your mama like that. Do you you understand me? No. Don't ever respond to your mother like that. Not while I'm around. Mom, do you mind? Say, sir, let me tell you something. Don't ever do that again. Do you understand me? I love this video, man. I'm not trying to scare you. That ain't that ain't what this is about. It's something called respect. That's right. That's right. If you don't respect your mama, nobody else will. That's right. But if I was to go over there and slap your mama, how would you feel about that? You'll be mad, but you can't get mad because you just disrespected her. How you going to get mad at you, me for disrespecting your mother when you disrespect her? Let me ask you a question. Do you love her? Love is about action, not about words. So don't tell me you love your mother when you just disrespect her in my face. If you did that just on my street, not inside my house, just on my street, you know what happened what happened to you? Disrespecting your mama on my street? Huh? Somebody gonna check you. You know what that mean? That you gonna have to catch a fade. You know what that mean? Huh? You know what that mean? And that's real. I'm not just talking about that, brother. Nobody gonna take care of your mama like you, son. So the number one thing you gotta do is respect her. If you don't have respect, you don't have a relationship. So that's your mother, you're her son. If you don't have respect, you don't have a relationship. So y'all don't even have a relationship, sir. Relationship is not about all, not always about blood. You know that, right? Me and this man right here, we build a relationship. We're not even blood related. But you know how we related? You understand me? From the heart. I measure a man by his heart. I seen a lot of people in these streets, man. See, I'm I'm not, I'm that dude that people didn't ever think was gonna do nothing. But I'll be the first one to do something. You better ask this one right here. It's not about being hard, sir. Cause that's not what I'm trying to do. I I've been I've been grew up from that. Cause everybody I know that's hard. You know where they at? Well, they down there. Well, That's right. One of my big homies, how long he just got out? Uh, how long he there? When did he get out? Oh, he did 15. When did he get out, though? Two, three months ago. Two or three months ago. I ain't seen one of my, my friends in 15 years. Just like we talked about last time, son, one mistake could change the course of your whole entire life. So what I'm, what, what only thing I'm gonna say is, is don't ever disrespect your mama, man. Love your mama with every being part of you. You know why? Let me tell you something, man. There it go. My mama didn't even raise me, bruh. I don't know what it is to say. Son, I love you. I don't know how they feel, son. I don't know what it is to get a birthday present. 
in my life. I don't know what it is to wake up to my mama saying, son, I done made breakfast. I don't know what it is to wake up to Christmas presents. Never live that life, son. So when I see a kid disrespect his mama, not finna do that when I'm around. Go over there and tell your mama you sorry. Come here, man. See, this is what we need more of, fam. You know, a lot of times we can say, man, these youth is crazy. You know, they running wild. Or, or, or they need some. They don't have no home training. But see, this is where we got to come in at, man. We got to show these youths, man, some love, basically. And that's all he did with that little kid is show them some love. And at the same time, he got some help. Right, because that 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 dude sat up there and cried, man. You understand? And I can tell the way he was talking, man, that he was serious. Right? And 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 that little situation just took him back, probably to his childhood, from when he wished he had his mother in his life. And that whole panel, man, the, the big dude on the end broke down. You see him white in his face like he was about to cry. But when I first saw this video, man, it kind of touched me, man. And it, but I told Brother Ben, I said this before, I told him he inspired me, man. And he a young kid, man. Well, he ain't no kid. He grown, but he young, right? Doing manly things. You understand? He ain't all on YouTube cussing people out, man. I got a lot of respect for Ben X, man. So that's all, man. I don't want to make no long videos. I just wanted to share this video with the family, man, because we all need to be doing this in our community. Ain't nobody else going to do it. You know, the police, I, I remember when I came up, man, the pol we used to call the police officer friendly. They used to come to our school and all this crap. You know, the police, the firemen and all that. We used to call the police the officer friendly. But I don't even, man, all they doing now is killing our youth. So we got to step in there and show them love. Peace, man. I just wanted to share that. Shout out to Ben X.